Hello, how are you? こんにちは皆さんお元気ですか Today, Karate video number 75 and I'm gonna focus on shikodachi, the last part of this word. Tachi, well, this kanji, tachi, it comes from the tachimas to stand up. And here we pronounce dachi, shikodachi, because there's some other word before this tachi. Then we say with ten ten, shikodachi. So this dachi, in this case, this is the stance. Shikodachi can be translated as square stance or small stance. And this kanji, shi, this means four. Ichi ni san shi, so number four. And the second one, ko, we can also pronounce mata. And this means the, the, the、uh, crutch. But it doesn't mean four crutches. But shiko, this is something to do with small. Small wrestler, ceremonial, leg rising and stomping. Rising and stomping. This is shiko. Small, we write like this. Here in hiragana, small. And here in kanji, small. Small is the Japanese traditional sport. It, it, it really traditional national sport of Japan is small. And it's really related with Shinto, this kind of religion, Shintoism. A little bit after in this video, I'm going to talk about very in detail about shiko and shikodachi in、uh, how we can practice it. But anyway, shikodachi we say small stance because in small this is used. In martial arts, also shikodachi is used. For example, in karate, this is one of the style goju ryu, goju ryu. But Please be careful because I heard many people say, Goju ryu. Goju, it means 50. The number 50, Goju. But this kanji, we pronounce with go, the longer sound. Goju ryu. So, Goju ryu, this is one of the style of karate style in the traditional, in, in the Okinawa style, Goju ryu. The other style, Wechi Ryu. Wechi Ryu, this is also one of the classical, traditional Japanese karate style in Okinawa. Wechi Ryu. And here,、uh, Shikodachi is used. Also in Shito Ryu or Kyokushin, Shikodachi is quite often used. But in, 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 when, there,、um, when there's no Uh, kibadachi style, then maybe shikodachi can be translated the same stance of horse stance or horse riding stance because there's no kibadachi. So, this is why many people got confused with shikodachi and kibadachi. Well, I'm gonna explain it. In katas, in shotokan karate, shotokan. Kibadachi is used, but not shikodachi. Well, kibadachi, this means horse stance or horse riding stance. And they are quite similar. Today's theme is shikodachi. But I want to tell you the difference between kibadachi and shikodachi because they look so similar. But the big difference. It's about the direction of the feet, the toes, and the knees. In the case of kibadachi, the direction toward front, toward front is the knees are looking toward、uh, the frontal, knees and the toes. But in shikodachi, they are open. About 45 degrees, so they open. So, this is the biggest difference. And also, the both are very low stance. But maybe shikodachi is lower than kibadachi because it's easier to, to get down in shikodachi just because of this knee position. And kibadachi, but anyway, kibadachi is also low stance. 
、um, uh, nowadays, especially in, in Shotokan. But in the old days, it was not so low, not so low stance like today. Here you see some drawings of a small player called Rikishi in the center. We are marked in red circle. Small Rikishi shows us the perfect Shikodachi stance. But in karate, not so low position as in this drawing. Rikishi's body is huge and powerful. But at the same time, they must be flexible. Average body weight is around 164 kilo, kilograms. How to do the correct Shikodachi? In four steps. One, open your legs side by side wider than your shoulder. Two, turn your feet outward by pointing the toes outward 45 degrees. Three, the weight must be distributed uniformly and equally between two legs. Four, go down, dropping the butt. As in a squat, the body can drop much farther and still maintain an upright posture. But there's, so these were the four steps. But there's one very important point that is, the knees and toes must be facing the same direction to avoid knee injury. Now, watch the drawing in the right above, in circle in purple color. This is Shiko training in small, but we can do it because this is a very good exercise. I'm gonna tell you five benefits of this Shiko. One, improves your posture by stepping on Shiko training. The lower body is strengthened. Since the axis of the body becomes solid, the way of walking will be beautiful. Number two, it leads to hip up. Because you can move the muscles of the buttocks that are difficult to train in everyday life. Three, increases basal metabolism because it trains the buttocks and thighs, which are the large muscles in the body. Number four, prevent injuries. The reason is that hip joint becomes flexible. By performing Shiko training. Five, improves blood flow by stretching the muscles around the hip joint. Before training, please stretch your hips and legs and don't do too many repetitions. Start from 10 times. Actually, 10 to 20 times a day is really enough. Although professional small players repeat. Over a hundred times, a hundred times or more every morning. Now I'm going to explain you how to practice Shiko training in six steps. One, Shiko Dachi position in quite low position. Keep your body vertical and your back straight. Step two, transfer all your weight to the left leg. So, left leg is the axis foot. At first, step three, now gradually extend the knees of left leg. Then the right leg will naturally rise slowly. Rather than raising your leg, image of tilting your body to the left side is better. At first, don't worry if you can't raise your leg high. Little by little, your leg will reach higher and higher. Even You'll be able to extend the upper leg one day and keep it in this stance for two or three seconds. But it's difficult to keep balance. So at first, only one second is good enough. When rising your leg, be aware of taking a breath. Breathe in. And very important to notice that this is not a kick up, this is not a kick. The movement is slow. Step four lower your right leg while exhaling. Breathe slowly. At this time, 
bend the knees of the left leg little by little. It's important to control the speed of lowering without relying on the momentum. Be aware that you are training your lower body and core. When lowering your foot, land from your toes. The key is to step on the floor strongly at this time. This part of how to land properly and step on strongly is very important. Step 5. Back to the first shikodachi stance. Very deep, low position each time. Step 6. Repeat with the opposite leg. First, shifting your weight to the right leg. Then all the same movements as I told you before. In Japan, this kind of shiko or shiko training is used quite often for fitness or for baseball players or also in basketball players. So, shiko dachi, this is quite、um, popular in Japan. I hope you liked this video about shiko dachi. And you could learn something new in our culture. If you liked it, please give me a like because that gives me a lot of motivation to, to keep on with these k i n d of things. And if you can share my videos with your friends, that will help me a lot. And please subscribe me. <laughs> and in the last part, I want to talk all, all in Japanese so you can listen to Japanese. And I, I think it, it's going to be the good exercise for listening. いかがでしたか今日は空手で使う思考立ちについてお話ししました。そして思考立ちと際立ちの違いも話したし、それから日本の相撲、日本の文化についても話しました。そして思考立ちのトレーニング方法。これもやってみるといいですねではまたお会いしましょうぜひチャンネル登録といいねボタンお願いいたしますそれから私のビデオを友達にシェアしていただけたらとてもとても助かりますぜひお願いいたしますではまた次のビデオでお会いしましょうじゃあねー